It's a decision now in the hands of Tucson voters, with the final tally coming in just a few days. Since 2007, red light cameras have popped up at intersections across Tucson, citing more than 26,000 drivers this year. Nearly 70% of those citations were issued for running red lights. That's more than 400 citations per week. Some city leaders say those cameras save lives, but as Nine in Your Side's Megan Thompson investigates, many drivers call it a scam because of one line you may not even know about. I've been driving since 1958. Never had a citation, never had an accident. But Margaret Barnhart's perfect record now has a few flaws. And then I'm in Tucson and get cited for what I think is a very minor event. Going 19 miles per hour, she got snapped at Speedway and Kolb trying to make a left-hand turn in 2010. When I left here, I was still seeing green. She paid the more than $500 in fines and went to defensive driving school, but she says she didn't actually know why she was cited until later. In the class, there was never any mention of a line of prolongation. I had no idea what that was. I didn't know why I was cited. That line is how Arizona defines an intersection. It's an imaginary line that stretches beyond the crosswalk formed from lining the road from curb to curb. You won't see it at every Tucson cross street, but most of the eight red light camera intersections do have this courtesy line drawn out to show where the intersection actually starts. The hard part for drivers though, each intersection is different because the curb line varies with the number of lanes, the size of the intersection, among other factors. And drivers like Barnhart think that that definition is a trap because when you pull forward to make a left turn, you could be snapped for a red light run only because you haven't pulled up far enough to be deemed in the intersection. Well, I think it's a fairness issue, quite frankly. Councilman Steve Kazachik thinks that line is what makes those cameras unfair, a way for the city to pull in more money. And those red light cameras are seeing green, with the city taking in more than $1.2 million last year, costing Tucson drivers more than $3 million in fines and fees. People aren't trying to violate the law. People are just doing what they think is right. He thinks this ban wouldn't even be on the ballot if the city would throw out citations dealing with that imaginary intersection line. I mean, nobody likes to get uh, a red light ticket. But Lieutenant uh, Paul Tosca with the Tucson Police traffic, traffic Division says they don't get the option of tossing out tickets. It is um, a definition that is state law, and the Tucson Police Department is required to, to follow that state law. Lieutenant Tosca wants people to educate themselves about these kinds of traffic laws and also the benefits of the program. According to the Traffic Division's comprehensive report, they've seen a 70% reduction in crashes since 2007. But for Barnhart, she's not buying that data. People who are running a red light are going to be going faster than 19 miles an hour. I think the city is thinks that they're really preventing accidents in places where they're simply making money. But even if the vote puts the brakes on those cameras, Tucson police officers will still be using the state's definition of an intersection to cite drivers. Megan Thompson, KGUN 9, on your side.